guys, my name's Hatter Sam, and I managed to steal Toma from his hangout, and I wanted to figure out how he interacts with Mona, Hu Tao, Ganyu, Ayaka, and Raiden, which are my favorite waifus in the game. And if you know my channel, I enjoy making waifu or meta content, so of course those are my favorite characters in the game. Since Toma is a pyro character, I want to see how he interacts with Mona Vaporize, Hu Tao Vaporize, Ganyu, Ayaka Melt, and of course Raiden, just for the fun of it. Before we get into it, if you enjoy the content, make sure you like and comment for the algorithm. And a full disclaimer is that I couldn't get Toma to Mondstadt. For some reason, the glitch only let me just be in Inazuma, and I wasn't able to teleport to Mondstadt, or even boat ride to Mondstadt, because it would just teleport me back to Inazuma. And in this video, I'm just going to show you interactions, combos, and rotations with random enemies from Inazuma, and some bosses that are there and Inazuma that have a lot of HP. Also, the purpose of this video is just for me to show you the interactions with these characters. I don't suggest you do them, of course. Wait until Toma's release and then you make a decision if you want to use Toma with any of these characters or other characters that I did not put in this video. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. The first characters I want to go over is Aika and Ganyu and how they interact with Toma's shields. And right off the bat, I'm going to say that I was not impressed with Aika and Toma combo because since only a normal attack can activate Toma's pyro attack from his shield, if we're doing it with Aika, she will only get a melt reaction from her first normal attack. And if you're trying to do charge attacks, only the first hit of her three-part charge attack will get a melt reaction. If you do want to use Aika, I mean, you can constantly apply cryo onto the enemies and make Toma do the melt reaction. And there's nothing wrong with that. But overall, if you're trying to focus the melt on Aika, it is not a good combo and I'm not impressed with it. Now, if we switch to Ganyu, now things get a little spicy. Since you don't want to get interrupted by enemies hitting you when you're doing a Ganyu charge attack, you need a shield, right? And that's why Zhongli is one of the best characters to pair with Ganyu. But the thing is, what if you don't have Zhongli or maybe you have Ganyu and Hu Tao and you can't put Zhongli on both teams. Well, Toma is a great substitution if you want to pair him with Ganyu. And what's great about Toma is since he's a power character, we can do some Mel reaction with the Ganyu, especially if you have a Mel Ganyu type of build. Something interesting that you can do is when you do Toma's elemental burst, before doing a Ganyu charge attack, you can hit the enemy with a normal attack, which will apply pyro to the enemy. And then you can follow up with a double melt reaction from Ganyu's charge attack without you having to switch off of Ganyu. Now, the only thing that sucks is, is you can only do that with Toma's elemental burst instead of just an elemental skill from like Zhongli. But there's nothing wrong with doing Toma's elemental skill and then doing a melt reaction with Ganyu because you still get a little shield with Toma's elemental skill. But another thing I want to say is that the range of the pyro from Toma's shield, it's not that long. It doesn't have a far range. If you want to apply pyro to the enemy, you have to be pretty close to them or at least mid range. And now let me just go ahead and show you one of the few ways that I use Ganyu with Toma to cause male reactions to the mechanical array boss. Overall, I'm very impressed with Toma and Ganyu pairing together. Now, if we're talking about what Toma does for Mona, honestly, he doesn't increase the damage for Mona. All he's basically going to do is give Mona players a quality of life upgrade. And what I mean by that is if you're familiar with a Mona Vaporize type of burst, you know that at the end of the rotation, you have to switch off of Mona and then a apply a pyro attack with usually Bennett or any other pyro character. But what Toma allows us to do is he lets us keep Mona on the field and actually allows Mona to pop her own bubble with a vaporize because whenever you do a normal attack, the pyro from Toma's shield will reach the enemy first before Mona's normal attack. But the thing is you have to make sure you're facing the enemy's direction and you can't be too long range because like I said earlier, the range from Toma's shield is not that long, but overall it is a pretty good quality of life upgrade for Mona players. Especially if you apply pyro to like a mob of enemies that are around you and Mona can just normal attack all of them without having to switch off. Now here's a question that I had. 
If we pair Toma with Shinsho and Hu Tao, is Toma gonna ruin our vaporized reactions? And at first, I was a non believer. I was like, nah, this Toma's gonna be bad for Hu Tao. Like, sure, we get a shield like Zhang Li, but our vaporized reactions are gonna get messed up. But what I found out after playing it, no, actually. Because the Hydro application is so strong from Hydro characters like Shinsho, even if we pair these characters together, as you can see in the gameplay, Hu Tao is still getting her vaporizes from her charge attacks. So not only do we get a nice shield from Toma, but we also get damage reduction from Shincho, which allows Hu Tao to stay at her low HP threshold because that's where her kid is centered around. So overall, without having to have Zhongli on our team, Toma gives us great value for Hu Tao player, especially for those people that are new and are probably getting Hu Tao this banner. They can expect Toma to work well with Hu Tao and allow them to enjoy Hu Tao's gameplay without having to wait or want Zhongli. Overall, I was very impressed. And I do recommend pairing these two together, especially if you have Shin Shou. Now, if we move on to Raiden A, you're probably thinking, oh no, are we gonna have another beta situation? But the answer is no. Raiden's normal attack from her elemental burst does activate Toma's pyro from his shield. And I'm gonna be honest, this is the team that I had fun the most. Since Toma is another character that has an 80 energy cost, if we do Shang Ling, Shin Shou, and Toma, those are three characters at 80 energy cost. Whenever it's time for Raiden to do her elemental burst, she's gonna do a significant amount of damage and she's gonna have protection with the shield from Toma. All from four star characters. And right here you can see Mago Kenki get destroyed. After we get through Mago Kenki's first phase, when we unleash everyone's elemental burst, you can see that Raiden is just gonna destroy Mago Kenki with the help of all these four star supports. And it's just insane value that we're getting not only with Toma's protection, but also his off field damage capabilities as well. To me, Toma looks like a must-have four-star character. Honestly, it's gonna be like another Shincho situation where like where Toma is just gonna provide you so much value for being a four-star character. And I was really impressed overall. And I think he's gonna be a really good addition to anyone's team that pulls for him. Especially if you don't have Zhang Li or something like that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the stupid algorithm. I love you all so much. And remember, waifu over meta. And I'll see you in the next video.